Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Colleen and today I have a couple of pretty quick uh, dips for you. And as it is going into the holiday season and the parties uh, will be going on all over the place, these might be quite timely. Uh, these are two dips that, well one of them at least, I'm sure um, most of you have been able to pick up in the grocery store but they're both seven layer dips and I will have more information and um, put them together for you uh, right after this. Now to start this dip off, I am working just with a Pyrex plate, but if you've got a pretty a plate or a chip and dip set that you would prefer to use, by all means do that. I, I don't have any uh, fancy sets, so I'm going to use what I have on hand. I have these Pyrex bowl or pie plates and they're clear so that you can actually see the layers as you put them in there. So the items that we're going to need for this are some feta cheese, some red pepper hummus, some sour cream and some Greek yogurt, tomatoes, cucumbers, Italian seasoning, salt and pepper, some lemon juice, and some olive oil. Did I say garlic clove? And this garlic clove. I think that's everything that I'm going to need. So I'm going to just move a few of these things around and really get started. So I'll start by chopping up some of these things that we've chopped up. I've got a cucumber, and I've washed it and cut the two ends off of it. And I want to make these things bite-sized, or smaller than bite-sized, because you want to try and get more than one bite onto your uh, chip or pita or whatever it is. You want to be able to get a number of things on there, not just not just one pita chip with a bunch of cucumbers on it. Now, if it seems like it's really watery, your cucumber, you may want to take a spoon and take some of the seeds out. And I think I'll do that with the second half of this. I've left all of the peel on, actually. You could use your... Um, potato peeler or vegetable peeler and peel off um, some of the skin but that's really not necessary so yeah you just take your spoon and run it down here it takes the seed and the wet part out and you don't necessarily want a soupy mess so you can do that with all of it and it will definitely help to control the amount of water. Now, off we go. I know I'm making a lot of noise. I even remembered to put down my towel today because several of you have commented that it's very loud. Um, and I'm going to grab out now some tomatoes. I need about eight ounces, which is, I guess it's around a cup. Um, but I know that I want enough to cover. Let me just grab a holder for these. And if you squish them down with the holder, then it protects your hand. And you can just run through. And there you go. Now, if you feel like some of these are too big, you can definitely cut those halves in half to make quarters. Okay. Put these in another bowl. This recipe right here is no cooking involved which is kind of nice over the holidays to just prepare something and not have to cook something. So I'll do that again. I'm just using the lid off the sour cream 
I'm going to hold all the tomatoes firmly down and then just go underneath the lip of the, the lid, keeping my fingers up out of the way. And voila! I have managed to cut them all in half, all at once, which saves quite a time saver. Now I have my board really wet, so I'm going to give it a rinse off before I start on the olives. Now I guess I forgot to tell you about the olives earlier. We need four ounces of Kalamata olives. And I like this kind, but if somebody in your house is not fond of the olives, then you could use green ones, I guess, or you could probably leave them out altogether. Now, there we go. I have these all cut in half or chopped. I don't know if my tomato lid will work for this, but we're about to find out. I'm going to say yes. It did work, more or less. More or less. I probably wouldn't do it again. And I'm just going to roughly go through these and chop them. I'm going to just do up the rest. There we go. Now, I'm going to chuck this aside. I'm going to bring out this little bowl. This is to make our yogurt and sour cream layer. Now, I guess you could probably use, hmm, I don't know what you could use for this. This is what I'm going to use for this recipe. I need about a half a cup of each one. Tzatziki. You could use tzatziki in this layer, but I always find it a little wet. And so, I probably wouldn't use it and then I'm just going to open up this plain yogurt. Now the yogurt holds up better it seems. Oh, if I can get into it. It's fighting me all the way folks. So this seven layer dip, if you haven't already guessed, is Greek inspired and there we go. We've got half a cup of sour cream, half a cup of Greek yogurt. I've got to wash that lid before I can put that one back on. Just move some of these things out of the way. Now I'm going to give it a little sprinkle of salt and a little sprinkle of pepper. And I am going to rasp one clove of garlic in here. There we go. And I am going to put in one teaspoon of Italian seasoning. What have I got here? I've got a half a teaspoon. I'm going to put in one teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Now, as I said, you could use tzatziki here. And it would make it even quicker. There'd be no mixing or stirring or breaking or measuring. But I like the flavor of this better. So that's what I'm going to use today. Okay. Now we're just about down to the last part. I need another cutting board. I'm making this fairly early in the day because we're going to have it tonight. But I like to give it a chance to marry up in the oven and, or sorry, in the refrigerator and get nice and chilled. Now, also on this board, I am going to cut up about, I don't know, three quarters of a cup of feta cheese. And, or as much as you want, like you can add more if you want, after you've got her all together, if it doesn't look like enough. You could definitely add some more. And, 
and once I get it to this point, I like to just kind of crumble it with my hands. Yeah, I think that's going to be plenty. Now, just going to rinse my hands off and we'll get started to layer this into the dish. Okay, let's get started. I have here some roasted red pepper hummus and I feel like this may not even be enough that you could use two containers in here but um, you just really are trying to make a layer and I'm going to start with it on the bottom and if you were making Mexican style seven layer dip which I'm going to do next um, you would start on the bottom with hum with um, refried beans so let's just move that around I hope you can see what I'm doing there move that around now maybe I'll move the camera so that you can get a better look of what's there so we've got that layer in and I'm going to try and level out as much as I can now I'm going to put in the layer that we made with the sour cream and the Greek yogurt it has the spices and the garlic in it. I'm just going to move it around to make the second layer. And oh, that smells good. There's something about fresh garlic and all these ingredients. I can smell everything and it smells so wonderful. Now, layer number three, we're going to layer in cucumber here. Now, I'm probably put uh, too much in here, but I'll use the rest for an afternoon snack. And then layer number four, here's the tomatoes. You want to make sure that they get well spread out because you don't want to, you know, have gaps where there isn't at least some of the ingredient. Now I'm going to put in layer number, what was that? One, two, three, four, number five, which is the olives. There we go. I think that's pretty good coverage of olives. And then on goes the feta. This is number six. And then last, I've got some fresh parsley here that I have given a rough chop to, a very rough chop. How wonderful does that look? I'm just gonna give a little um, bit of lemon juice to freshen this all up. And a little bit of olive oil to finish it. And that's it folks there we go this is a seven layer dip greek style i hope you've enjoyed this now let's move on to the next recipe now i've made seven layer mexican style dip before in a pan and i have never tried this i saw it on gordon food services website so i'll share the link below but i'll give you the kind of lowdown here and this is to make individual servings rather than everybody going back to the same bowl, which would have been really handy, I guess, during COVID. Um, so individual servings of seven layer dip. And we're going to start off with my husband's super big knife. Don't be nervous. Actually, I'm a little nervous. This big old knife kind of scares me. He loves to cook in the kitchen and he loves a big knife and I find that one a little scary but him not so much oh my goodness so we are going to because I've got room in this pan to do two four six two four six eight each one takes two, so let's do a little math. So that's 
we're going to need 16, so we need four of these. These are just uh, original wraps. And I think the ones on the bottom are a little smaller. We're going to try and square these off, which is the reason I got the big one out, because I don't have a pizza cutter. And just like so. Get them square. And you can toast these on a pan in the oven and then have uh, chips that would go along with your Greek style dip. Now I'm going to cut this in four. Are you following along? I thought this was just a cool idea. I've never done it myself. But here we are about to give it a try together. So we're going to push one into the bottom of each one of these. And work our way around. Now this, you could be certainly a lot more precise with your measuring than I am with this because I'm trying to hurry so that I don't hold you up too long. Some of you say you're happy to uh, watch along while I do things in real time, but other people are going, come on, less talking, more doing. Now, this is just some original refried beans. Now, you could buy them spiced up or however you like. You could even spice them up yourself if you wanted to do that. And we're going to put um, a spoonful on the bottom. Let's see if I can do this. I'm going to do this with two spoons. Well, that's kind of annoying. I'm going to use my finger on the next one, just so you're aware. I have clean hands. I'm sure that'll go much easier. So I'm putting about a teaspoon, maybe a little more, of refried beans in the bottom. I have my oven preheating to 350 degrees. And we are going to layer these. Now, I was really happy when I came across this recipe because it seems like something that would be easy for people to maneuver at any kind of a party. You can stand up with these, you can move around the room, and you're probably not going to have too much trouble with them. I'm going to get a cloth, wipe my hand. Now I'm just going to Add a little bit. This is just a Tex-Mex blend. You could make it any kind of cheese you like. Just a little bit on top. Not too much because we have to put a lid on these yet. And there we go. Now, lid's on. And we're going to work our way down around there and we're trying to make a little room to still add things on the top when these guys come out of the oven. So you're kind of making a little hump. And all the way around. These guys are going to go into that 350 degree oven for 15 minutes. Well, wow, these look great. I can see that the cheese is melted in there. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to let these cool for a few minutes. I'm going to take them out and put them on a platter maybe. And uh, then we'll move on to the next step. I'm pretty happy with the way these turned out, so far anyway. It's, uh, the cheese is holding everything together so 
far. And I really love this idea. Oh my goodness, guys, I think we've just stumbled across a new favorite dip recipe. Let's get rid of this hot pan. And now we have, I don't know the directions didn't say to cool them first, but I feel like you almost should cool them a bit first. But I'm gonna do one for you just so you can see the order of things, how it all comes together. And I don't think this part really matters, but I have some homemade guacamole. No, that's not true. I have some store-bought guacamole here. So I'm gonna put a layer of that on. I'm just gonna do one, just to show you. And then um, I'm gonna let the rest of these cool before I finish them off. And a layer of salsa. And a dollop of sour cream. And a little sprinkle of a little sprinkle of green onion. And oh my gosh. Does that not look like a perfect little appetizer? It's a dip. And it's an appetizer. It's a dip and it's an appetizer. Wow! So I think these will make awesome little appetizers for our get together later. And I hope folks that you've enjoyed this video today. And if you've enjoyed it and you've learned something new from it, please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't. Um, Definitely look at other videos that uh, I've put out. There are lots of good ideas in there and um, you know, you may find exactly what it is you need for your holiday season. There's some really good, just good weeknight meals in, the, in my videos too. So folks, if you've enjoyed today's video, then please give it a thumbs up or a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with your friends on social media and I will see you again on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.